So new tonight at five, could our state lawmakers actually be heading back to our roundhouse this year? Well, it looks like it as some lawmakers from both sides are calling for an extraordinary session, saying they're not happy with the governor vetoing a spending bill for projects across the state. I'm calling on my colleagues in both chambers and across party lines to an extraordinary session that would override the veto. Kai Porter's live now in the newsroom to explain what it'll take to call this other session. Kai. Yeah, Julian Tessa, so an extraordinary session is a way that our state lawmakers can override a veto from the governor. Three fifths of lawmakers in both the House and the Senate would have to support it though. And it's only happened once in our state's history 20 years ago. But now there is a bipartisan push for a second one. Calls from both Republicans and Democrats to return to the Roundhouse in Santa Fe for an extraordinary session after Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham vetoed Senate Bill 48. My heart sank. I was deeply disappointed in the implications for grassroots organizations, nonprofits, colleges. It will be very, very difficult. For us. Senate Bill 48 is also known as the Junior Bill. It included $50 million to fund lawmakers' pet projects across the state. Democrat State Representative Roger Montoya says the governor's veto will have a negative impact on his district in northern New Mexico and rural communities he represents. We deployed those funds from our heart with a deep understanding of what matters and the funding that we will no longer be available is deeply troubling to me as an activist and a legislator in District 40. Senate Republican leader Greg Baca is also calling for an extraordinary session to override the governor's veto, saying in a statement, quote, the veto of this legislation is a shameless attempt to beat the legislative branch into submission and again, eat away at our appropriating authority. The junior bill contained funding for law enforcement, senior centers, the courts, and other critical needs throughout the state. In her veto message, the governor explained her decision writing, unfortunately, I'm unconvinced that SB 48's distribution of over $50 million in funds for various projects upholds principles of fiscal responsibility or, on the whole, represents a wise investment at present. For example, many of the projects listed in SB 48 are not fully funded, leaving open the possibility that money will be wasted on projects that will never be completed. This is unacceptable. Here's Representative Montoya's response to that. I completely disagree with the notion that these projects are ill funk through and ill designed. And it's starting to look like an extraordinary session could be a real possibility. Take a look at this. A spokesperson for the Senate Democrats sent us a statement saying, quote, there is great concern in the Senate Democratic, or, uh, Democratic camp, uh, Caucus over the complete veto of the junior bill. Senate Democrats will be meeting soon to discuss options. And we are still waiting for a response from House Democrats. Of course, we'll keep you posted and let you know how this all plays out. Back to you. Okay, thank you.